All right, we're here with uh, Clay Shannon, who's the uh, owner of uh, Shannon Ridge Vineyards and Winery. And uh, we're over here in the Clear Lake Oaks area in his uh, Cabernet Vineyard. And uh, Clay's engaged in an interesting project using sheep in the vineyard. And he's going to tell us a little bit about it as we take a look around. Clay. Hey, Brian. How you doing? Good, man. So we're at about 2,300 feet in elevation. This is one of our Cabernet Vineyards that goes into our Shannon Ridge uh, Cabernet that's nationally distributed and uh, our top-selling item. We do about 15,000 cases of this thing, and it's grown at about 30% per year. But, uh, you know, we, you've probably heard before that we, we raised some sheep and we, we started really small and, and now we're kind of getting bigger and we're getting into grass-fed lamb. But uh, we've been sheeping the vineyards after harvest uh, to clean up the vineyard, to clean up the grapes uh, underneath the vines after the, uh, the, the guys maybe drop a little bit of fruit. Or if you're machine harvesting, the, the machine leaves a little bit of fruit. So we usually run the sheep in the vineyards after harvest. And then, uh, and this year we're going to start lambing the, uh, the the sheep in the vineyards, and so they're cleaning, keeping the weeds weed free, uh, um, pr pretty much throughout the year. But as we get smarter and as we experiment with these sheep, what I wanted to show you today is is, is what we are doing. We're currently pulling leaves with these things, and uh, we're learning how to manage the sheep to keep them from eating the fruit. And uh, what the, what you're looking at here is a Cabernet vineyard that has not been leaf pulled at all. Uh, it's kind of on the bigger side this year and due to some late rains and uh, some deep soils, late rains and, and not extremely hot. Um, East-west rows usually uh, burn up a little bit more or more, less water, so they're a little bit more vigorous than our north-south rows. But you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but the canopy is very dense this year. And if you start opening up the canopy in the fruit zone right in here, you'll see some yellow leaves and those are signs of, of, of you know, potential negative quality, potential shading, or for sure shading, and we don't want that. Uh, and what we're gonna do is dro drop a, uh, run across the avenue here and we're gonna show you what the sheep are doing. Okay, Brian, so hey, we just crossed the avenue. You can see over there, I mean, we just moved 50 feet. Here's a block that was sheeped here last night um, and you could see yellow leaves, okay? Well, the reason why you're seeing yellow leaves is because the dark green large basal leaves have been removed from the outside of the canopy. And now we're looking on the inside of the canopy. And guess what we see hanging here? Fruit. That means the, the sheep have exposed this to the sunlight. We can see the other row. We can see the dirt through the other side. That means our canopy is open. And, uh, and now we, I think we can grow some great fruit with uh, non-veggie herbal. Uh, we want a little bit of herbal in the Cabernet, but non-veggie Cabernet characters. Um, Again, I think there's a 20 or $30 an acre uh, uh, pass. Uh, the sheep start and they eat all the little suckers that are regrown, and then we prune them off later. They eat these, these young regrown shoots that we really shouldn't have there, but this year, again, we've had a lot of extra vigor and uh, due to the late rains. And notice they'll, they'll clean all those leaves and petioles right up. They expose the fruit so we can uh, uh, get our sunlight in there and get the air in there so we don't have mildew issues. They also are cleaning up any little uh, summer annual weed growth that has started to come underneath the drip uh, irrigation. But what's really interesting, you know, on a north-south row and on an east-west row, uh, you really want to pull leaves on the cool side of the vine. And what's totally interesting, that's where the sheep hang out. And uh, they, you know, just in another hour or two, the sun will be up and all of a sudden this will start getting shaded over here. So the sheep will work the north side of this vine because it's in the shade the majority part of the day um, more than the south side which is exactly how we would normally pull leaves and it's just it's unbelievable it's automatic it's just very cool okay clay tell us where we are now hey brian um so what, what, we're on the augulin vineyard and this is uh, uh again but goes back into our shannon ridge uh, um, cabernet program north south rows and this is where we've hand le leafed so what you do see um, is you know the, the, the dry leaves or the drying leaves on the ground. You see the fruit zone and uh, we didn't go very high on here because we're a little bit more concerned about sunburn so we, we kind of leave a little umbrella underneath the fruit. But uh, again this is 200, 250 bucks an acre probably here when we go a little higher at 250 to 300 dollars an acre in cost. Um, the leaves are in a form that they're not necessarily, I mean it it's uh, um, it's it's garbage on it, or it's not garbage, but it, it's not necessarily edible or, or available to the plants. And you know where the sheep will eat that leaf, digest it, um, poop it out, and it becomes you know immediately um, as soon as we get some rain, um, a, a, a portion of the fertility that we're using. Uh, they're starting to lay down, if we can see them here. But we got about 300 head in here. There's a uh, there's about 100 uh, uh, young lambs. 
there's about 200, uh, oh, two, two year old, three year old ewes that are pregnant, uh, hopefully pregnant, and they're going to start lambing. This is our this is our first group, so th these guys will start lambing probably about the 5th of October. Um, we are minimizing herbicide, we are minimizing uh, mowing, which minimizes dust, which minimizes fossil fuels, and there's just a whole bunch of great stuff that's going on here. And uh, bottom line, I, it's just really exciting. It's new. You know, I've been farming grapes for 30, 30 some years, and uh, uh, this is, you know, puts a smile on my face because it's new and challenging, and we're learning something. Well, and Clay, uh, you know, obviously we've touched on this in, in these segments, but this is an ongoing process with exploring how to achieve sustainability, right? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a work and, and a, a, a project in process, always. Yeah, I think it's an evolution. I mean, you know, for every action, there's a reaction. For every reaction, there's an action. And uh, I, I think we're starting to learn some of the tools we can use. Uh, the su sustainability is, uh, is, is an evolution, you know. First off, we got to stay in business and, and feed each other's families. And uh, secondly, we got to grow uh, crops with uh, softer fungicides and, uh, and, and that are a lot more people-friendly and dog-friendly and kid-friendly. And um, I just think we're starting to learn more and more uh, tools that we can use and uh, be sustainable in business, be sustainable farming, and, and uh, you know, protect the, uh, the environment we live in.